Well, hello and welcome everyone to Creative Technology Solutions Smart Surveillance Webinar. This is part of our business management conversations, which are conversations that we have because we're looking to provide valuable resources to help your business to reach your business object objectives, particularly from the perspective of technology. Um, you need help to reach those goals and you invest in technology. And sometimes, unfortunately, technology can be a little bit of an obstacle to getting to those goals. And you need a partner to be able to, um, to move forward, to make sure you leverage the technology, the investment that you've made to accomplish those goals. And that's what we're looking to help you with, providing resources along the way to talk through all the details of how to make technology work and what it looks like to have a partner that is there, understands where you're going, has your objectives in mind, and is helping to to make sure that your technology is helpful to attain those goals. And today, we're excited to be talking with um, with Cindy from Synology. Synology is one of our partners, partners and important partners, partner of ours. And so um, to get into this, I'm gonna go ahead and introduce everyone that's here. My name is David Grant. I'm the Director of Marketing here in our Digital Marketing Specialist for Creative Technology Solutions. And I'm joined by Tim Pointer, who is the President of Creative Technology Solutions and serves as our uh, Virtual Chief Information Officer officer for the customers that we partner with. How you doing, Tim? Good. Really good. Good. And also, we've got Cindy Tang with us, our account manager with Synology, who's here to just help us to take through all the, the fun of the amazing uh, resource that Synology provides to enhance uh, surveillance for your home and for your business. How you doing, Cindy? I'm good. Exciting to be here. <laughs> Good, we're glad that you're here too. <laughs> so a couple things for everyone. Um, as we move into our presentation today, we wanna make sure that we're answering any problems that you have. And so in order to do that, I wanna just ask you to post your questions to me in the chat box um, and uh, I'll manage those and we'll be able to uh, answer those at the end. We'll have a question and answer time. So if you, at any point throughout the presentation, if you have a question, go ahead and ask that. You don't need to wait. And then we will get to those later on. So be sure. Be sure that you answer that. And we have a special giveaway today. Um, we are uh, we've we've got a great camera for you. This is a, a really cool camera from Amcrest that um, has great Wi-Fi features to be able to connect and monitor um, your environment from a mobile app. Their their control app is is really um, powerful to be able to do that. But even more than that, it integrates with Synology to enhance those features and uh, give you everything that you need to keep your place, your environment um, surveilled. <laughs> so we're going to give that away later on. So if you stay through to the end of the presentation, your name will be in the cup and we'll get that out to you. Um, so with that, let's start with a little bit about creative technology solutions. And Tim, I remember a number of years back sitting together as a team and we're trying to put into words everything that creative technology solutions is about and how we partner with companies. And we came up with this phrase, extraordinary collaboration, liberating results. So I wanted to hear from you a little bit to understand what that means. Yeah. So that, that was, um, that was like divine providence for us as a team. I think it really kind of captured the heart of what, as we kind of uh, sat around together as a team and we're thinking what's really important to us, what makes us unique. Um, and I think that that catchphrase um, kind of covers two, uh, two aspects of what we really enjoy and what we feel is really important and unique. Um, and maybe the, 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 the first part of that uh, is similar to something I say a lot with, uh, with our team. And I actually say it with our customers and our vendors as well. And that's the idea that together we're stronger. Um, and whether, again, that's clients or our strategic uh, partners and vendors like uh, Sanab, um, I think we can deliver better shins because we collaborate with people like Cindy and Synology and the products they represent. Um, and even our own internal team members as, as we work to the benefit of our clients. So collaboration, we're stronger when we work together. And that's, that's an important um aspect for CTSI. And the other part of that on the on the other side is where does that all lead us? And well, the end result is important. And, and I think that catchphrase highlights that we're very purpose 
Um, and we're not just about tech, but we're about achieving something important for our customers' benefit. So that yeah, that's been a thing. And as as we move forward um, with our clients, we know that our small business clients depend on their technology, and and not not maybe any less than large, medium size or large business, probably more because they have less resources. So poorly managed, poorly planned or technology that's at risk because it's not done properly um, can lead to unexpected things. And that can be costly, even disastrous. And in the area even of surveillance, video surveillance and security that, that Cindy's going to be sharing about, that can be really, really critical for a small business um, when there's um, security issues. So we don't want our customers to have missed sales opportunities. We, we don't want them to see increase in their operational cost or downtime, data loss, heightened security risk, or be frustrated as a team because of technology. So strategic positioning, comprehensive management of our customers' technology is our business investment and aligning our customers' business goals um, with their technology is really a recipe for us. And, I, and Dave's kind of talked a little bit about us, but um, I think that this slide just, just uh, I think, represents, we've been at this for a while. So we've been serving the, the Northern Indiana region for 25 years and our, our team has been growing. Um, so we've, we're just glad that, that, you, that you can be a customer of ours team uh, will be a really good fit for you. So why is this important? Um, you know, as we were talking about, I mean, we've been talking with um, with Cindy um, um, Synology about doing some, maybe some different topics to help our customers learn some different, um, some different technology solutions that Synology offers. And we kind of decided to start with uh, video surveillance. We felt like the timing was perfect for it right now. And that's especially true of all of the stuff that's going on related to COVID. I um, hate to keep talking about it, but it's here. It's part of our, our lives. So it's because uh, as people are making bigger investments in their businesses and their homes, um, they need to protect them. So securing those, what, again, whether it's a business or a home, securing your assets, protecting those against theft or damage, it's important. And protecting your staff, uh, protecting your customers and protecting people that are important to you. That's a big part of what video surveillance does. And um, it can also be a very positive thing. Like, you know, a lot of small businesses can use video, video surveillance technology to help monitor, engage interactions, um, like even with customers. And that can help us learn how to do better at customer satisfaction. So there's a good learning uh, possibility there too. And and, I, and even now, as we talked about COVID, um, we're under some restrictions. Small businesses can be penalized if they're not following some of those uh, restrictions. So one of the ways that you can kind of show that compliant is having the right video surveillance technology in place. Um, and, and, and again, another positive aspect is just helping your staff really learn how to be more productive. It can be a learning tool. So there's a lot of really good reasons why this topic is important right now. Great. Thanks, Tim. And let's get to it. I'm really excited to hear from Cindy again. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm going to hand my screen over to you and uh, then we'll be, we'll be learning from you moving forward. Sure. Okay. Um, thank you so much for David and Tim. So um, good afternoon, everybody. Um, my name is Cindy, and I'm the account manager with Synology for the state of Indiana. And it's great to eat me with everybody here. So I start working with CTSI since 2017. And it has been a great honor to work with the whole team as we get to learn from each other constantly to provide business a robust and secure infrastructures um, to achieve the desired business outcome. So um, today's agenda, um, I will share who Synology is 
and where we come from as a company. And、um, as Tim already bring up a lot of excellent points, why security is super important、um, at these days. And I will be talking about how to choose the cameras and optimize the system configuration with some exciting features with some live demos. So Synology has been in business for over 20 years, and ever since the beginning, we have always been a software-focused company. We currently have more than a thousand employees worldwide, and 60% are software engineers. So over the years, we have、um, been focused on product development, and we have received hundreds of awards, including、um, PZ, PZ Magazine Reader's Choice、um, eight years in a row, and Business Choice Award five times winner. As of today, we have sold seven millions deployment out there, so we are definitely number one as manufacturer. And our main headquarter is in Taipei, Taiwan, which is also where our products are manufactured. So therefore, our products are TA compliant, and that's why we're selling a lot to federal, state, local government, and educations. And、um, our headquarter um, is um, the U.S. headquarter is in Seattle,、um, but I'm based out of our East Coast office. So now jump. Jump right into it. So, great thing about the Synology solution is that all of our server can be act as your surveillance server, but also be your business file server, virtualization storage, backup, business continuity solutions, based on your company needs. CTSI and us will work together to help build a solution just for you. So, the main reason to choose our solution. Compared to the prepackage, you can see from the retail store, is that we understand there's no one package that fits all for the business. And as you can see, we carry various of product lines, from a compact desktop all the way to a 3U rack mount or dual controller model or a model that can capable of storage up to 2.5 petabyte storage. So this is how our software and hardware works together. We call the software surveillance stations. So once CTSI and us help you narrow down the model, we pick the compatible cameras, and we need to ensure the NAS and the cameras are in the same network. And then CTSI will help you set up the recording and viewing configuration based on your company needs. And from there, you will be able to manage and viewing all your video footage anytime, anywhere. So. Will you be able to access the surveillance station from all the standard web browsers?、Uh, we have built a desktop application for Windows and Mac clients, so which provide all the same functionality as the web interface. And this client will also give you even better performance, as it is utilizing the computing power of your computer, rather go through a web framework, and this allows your unit to use that. Computational power on different tasks and improve the overall efficiency of your unit. And、uh, when I do in the demo later on today, I will be utilizing our desktop client. So now that、um, we have an idea of surveillance station, our desktop client, and we are going to、um, jump into the main purpose of the webinar: how to optimizing a surveillance deployment. So there are four main things we will be covering today. So first is how to choose a camera, and then how to optimize the video quality, motion detection, and lastly, I will show you、um, in the live demo how to effectively、um, search for videos using our timeline and smart search tools. So choosing a camera is a delicate balance of video quality. Storage requirements and overall pricing, right? So the first thing that needs to be considered is the image resolution. So for the minimum, we typically recommend an 1080p cameras, as it will give you considerable better quality, and you will be able to make、um, out small smaller details in the recording. You will also able to go with higher resolution, but however,、um, in a standard、uh, surveillance deployment these days, we don't believe it is entirely needed. 
Um, but when it comes to a frame rate per second, uh, this indicates how many pictures will be taken each second and stitched together to create a video. So if you have less frame rate per second, the video will appear choppy and disjoint. So this is why we always recommend to having at least 15 frame rate per second as motion will appear smoother and the overall video quality will be better. So um, last, we have to choose which encoder uh, we will be using. So the video format. As you can see from the table, from table here, and then um, you will see the storage store, uh, the storage requirement varies greatly based on the encoding format you choose. A 1080p stream at 20 frame rate per second using a MJPEG will be required at least 5.93 megapixel. Uh, well, the same configuration through H.264 with nearly, uh, will need only 1.23. And this will um, considerable smaller network and the storage footprint is, is exactly uh, smaller. And that's why we recommend H.264 over MJPEG. And moreover, today you will see more and more H.265 cameras. And then um, you will, if you have that options, you can definitely go with that as well. So now um, we have decided which resolution, frame rate per second, and encoding format to use. We can um, you know, choose how this unit will be communicate with the NAS and receive the power. So um, there are three ways you are able to set up a surveillance cameras. The first we have is uh, non POE, the POE stands for power over Ethernet option. So where the camera is plugged in into a standard network switch and power source separately. The second one is power over Ethernet. Um, so where the camera receive power and network connection through the same Ethernet cable and a POE camera enable switch. Uh, the last is Wi-Fi. So, so Wi-Fi um, enable cameras that receive network connection wirelessly from the router and the power are through the uh, standard power outlet. So the main consideration in this is how you want your camera to communicate with the network. So either through a Ethernet cable or wirelessly through Wi-Fi. So as you can see, a 1080p stream at 20 frame rate per second takes up to considerable network bank bandwidth, around 1.23. So if you're trying to push all this network traffic to a Wi-Fi connection, sometimes you will start to see some issues, you know, not communicate very efficiently and signal itself declines. So for ease of the deployment and increase the re reliability and stability, we highly recommend you to use a um, power over Ethernet. So what's great about Synology Surveillance Station is that uh, we're a very flexible system. We're currently compatible with more than 6,000 cameras from 110 brands. Give you flexibility to choose the best for your favorite brand or the, uh, the best option cameras for uh, your deployment. And um, if you already have some cameras on hand, um, we can help you double check if that already compatible with our system. So you don't have to upgrade everything you have. So we cover the basic of the solution. We pick a server and the cameras. It's time to optimize the setup and configuration, especially viewing all the video footage and filter through the recording when something suspicious happened, right? So um, there, like I said, there are multiple ways you will be able to view and manage all your camera streaming. So you can uh, view and manage them through the web browsers. Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Internet Explorer. Um, we do have mobile phone app. You can monitor your assets anytime, anywhere. And um, if you have, you know, multiple stores or you want a multiple, um, you have store and your home, you want to uh, monitor 
multiple sites, then you can utilize our desktop client. So moreover, based on your business need, you can set up multiple stream and different recording schedule. Most of the new cameras now using H.264 or H.265 format that allows you to reduce the storage needs up to 50%. So let's take a look. So depend on the NAS model, Synology gives you the ability, ability to view up to 100 live stream at once. So what you see right now um, is our live view tools, which come with the surveillance station application. So this is what you will see if you have total 46, sorry, 64 cameras set up. So with 64 cameras, it looks like you're playing 64 video, uh, YouTube video all in the same time. So you're gonna think about, um, you will require significant network overhead and you will need a very powerful PC to make everything smoothly. But do you really need all the high resolution to monitor these cameras in this tiny little square? Therefore, we have an option to play all the video stream at low resolution. And um, you have options. When you click on certain frame, it will automatically switch to high resolution. So you can look for the details. And when you're done with it, you click back and you will go back to the low resolution. And another thing is any event can also trigger changes in resolution, such as motion detection, right? So right now you're seeing everything is recording in 480p, which is the low resolution. Now, if you look at the uh, left right hand corner, there is a special man um, trying to break in the house. So when we trigger that motion detection, so our system will automatically switch that video streaming to the high resolution 1080p. So you can get all the details, what he looks like and stuff like that. So, and at the end of the event, the uh, recording will switch back to 480p. So um, the other thing is you can create action rules corresponding to a pre defined event. For example, we see there's two uh, video, uh, two cameras here, video Y and video G. So each camera has their own area they want to monitor. But you know, it's hardware. Sometimes something gonna happen. So when video Y break down, so if you set up this action rules, the video, uh, the camera G will automatic get up and, you know, start rotate both the video Y and video G location. So you won't miss anything. And the other thing is we support integration with a variety of the tools that can create security ecosystem. So door controller for access control, you can do intercons, and you can integrate with IO modules, which coordinate control and timing between internal resources and external resources. For example, turn on and off lights uh, you left off in the office where you're already at home or, or vice versa. And we also have POS system application. So if you're running a retail store, you can set up as one, if one transaction exists certain amount, the system will send the owner or the manager notification. So you can take a closer look, see what's going on. And now uh, we talk about all this, you know, fun features and let's jump right to it and see the live demo. Hold on. Okay. Can everybody see my demo screen? Yep. Can you see the, uh, okay. We're seeing uh, the slide. Or you guys still see the presentation? I think it's still oh, the presentation. Just the presentation. Oh. Okay, hold on. You sure? Okay, here. Sorry, give me one second.
here we go. <laughs> yep, see it now. Okay, cool. So um, I log in the desktop client that I was mentioned earlier, utilizing your PC resources, give you more uh, efficiently, um, more powerful resources. So um, let's take a look at this IP cameras. That's where CTSI will help you guys do all the setup. So um, we already have um, four cameras set up here, but if you want to add more cameras, you can click the edit here. So we have quick setup and complete setup. Uh, for the demo purpose, I'm going to do quick setup first because we're going to go into the configuration in a bit. So let's do quick setup. And um, with Synology, you will be able to uh, manage all the video in multiple sites. So uh, this is where you see we have three server joining the same network. So you have local host, um, SLAB, and then SHA clusters. So we're gonna choose the first one and you will be able to see um, you know, how many camera you will be able to connect to each server and how many license you have left. And uh, uh, we, will, we will talk about, we're going to provide some promotion at the end. So I'm going to choose the local host here. And then I'll hit next. And then you can pre-set up a name. I will do test, CTSI. And then the quickest way I usually connect to the IP camera is I will click this search on the IP address. So what it does, it will bring up all the cameras that you connected to the same network. So as you can see, we have about six camera here, and I'm going to choose the number one here. So, so once I choose that, um, you can, uh, it will bring up automatic the uh, manufacturer uh, setup. So uh, including the, the port for the cameras, and I'm going to um, identify what model is this. Okay, here, this is also an MQuest camera. So we're gonna do MQuest. And once you bring up the camera brand, the uh, you know preset up manufacturer username and password will show up. And then we can do a test connection here, make sure it's connect correctly. So we see we already set this up. And then, um, so right now we already find the IP camera, you're gonna hit next and then you're, you're good to go. So I already set this camera up, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit cancel. So um, this is the camera I just set up. So I can go into edit. So what I do is, uh, remember we were talking about the multiple string, uh, optimization, the banquets, and the high resolution, low resolution. That's where we're gonna set this up. So we can go to video. And as you can see, you can see the video format here. And after you set it up, you will be able to change it still. So if you want to change back to MJPEG, which we don't recommend, uh, you can, but <laughs> you know. So, and if you, uh, the, the camera has audio, then you can choose the audio. And then here we have uh, three string profile here. First one is high quality, balance, and low bandwidth. So we're going to do uh, high quality and and the low bank was here. So with high quality, we have string one set up. So let's scroll down, see what's the string one setup looks like. So uh, we have 1080p and we have, you know, five from rate per second, um, which we don't recommend. So I'm gonna do a little more. I'm gonna change to 25 since this is high resolution. And then uh, the image quality, I'm gonna choose the highest like original did. And for string two, that's where our low bank was set up is. So I'm gonna sc scroll down a little bit and just choose the 480p, the low bank was. And then from rate per second, remember we talk about, we still need a minimum of 15 in there. So you will be able to see all the details. So we're gonna do 15 here and the image quality. So we're gonna do lowest because it's low banquets. So you can save it. And then, um, then you will have this multiple string set up. And then on the advanced here, um, if your uh, cameras 
doesn't have a audio output, it's okay. If you have a spare speaker, you can use that as your audio output here. And if you want, you have more cameras, you want to have more smooth uh, monitoring, you can also set up the R set here as well. And then, um, because we already set up the stream profile, we can go in there to adjust the recording setting. So the recording setting, we can see a stream here. And so for continues, we can choose because it's recording 24 seven. So we're gonna do low banquets. And then when there's motion detection happen, we're gonna change to high quality. And then remember we were uh, switching the profile automatic when something happened. So we can do it here. And with event detection, you can choose what kind of event uh, when it happened will trigger our system and switch the profile to high resolution. So you can do motion detection, tempering or digital input. And then you're gonna switch the profile from um, low bandwidth to high quality. And then I want that whole thing recording for maybe, you know, 30 seconds. So it has enough time to record the whole event when it happened. And then um, not just that, we can go back and change complete recording schedule. So for example, if this is set up for a office, then you can set up uh, continuous uh, recording because it's supposed to have nobody in the office uh, when it is not business hour. So you can do it up to 5 a.m. And if your office open at six, you do motion detection because um, you know there will be a lot of people in and out. You want to know who um, who come to the office. You want to get notification. And then you can, you know, do it really, you know, up to your schedule as well. For example, if you're running a retail that's, you know, uh, need to be closed at 10 p.m., then you can choose um, continuous recording after 10 p.m. And you don't want any recording in the weekend because the office is not open, then you can, you don't need to record anything at all. You can just uh, delete your schedule here. Yep. Oops. And then uh, that's how we set up, uh, you know, some of the feature here. And then um, when you uh, want to set up the uh, event detection, um, you can also be very granular here. First, um, you have option here to um, set up which uh, resources you're going to come from. So right now I set up surveillance station, but if you have a camera that's featuring in uh, motion detection, for example, access camera, right? They are featuring motion detection. So you can choose from the cameras as well. So whichever that works for the company and works the best for your deployment, you can adjust in here. And you can adjust the sensitivity and threshold. So threshold means how big the movement is. So you can do 30 in the middle. And then um, if you want to act uh, ignore the short life motion. For example, a little bird flying by, a little squirrel, you know, jumping over and stuff like that. You can do like five seconds here. Okay, and then we can edit the detection area because we, we really don't care about anything happening in the sky because usually nothing gonna happen in there. What we care about on this camera is the driveway here, who is in, who is out. But what you can do, if you really want to, you know, monitor the whole area, you can you can do select all, and then you will select all. Or um, you can do, um, hold on, da -da. and then we can edit two different areas as well. We can do this area, looks like a storefront, and this driveway, we can do this. So we can do that as well. And then once you're done with select the uh, area you, you guys want to detect, you just hit save. So yeah, that's how we set up event detection. And now one more very important step we want to see is how to monitor and see all the videos, right? And playback. So live view is the tool you're using to monitor all your videos. Um, if you don't like this, you know, four square uh, layout, you can totally um, customize it. Um, and you see you have one, four, up to a hundred. 
And then what I actually doing here is uh, you can do, uh, let me change the sequentials, which means it will be automatically switch all the videos, cameras in different group for every five seconds. So let me change it over there. And then you can count one, two, three, four, five, and then it will switch over if you have multi-size. So you don't have you don't have to manually, you know, switch over all the different camera groups. And then you can set up along here. So any type of, you know, something happening here, um, set up along on the screen and also set up along in your phone, in your push services or email and text messages. So now we, you know, see all the configuration, optimize it. One thing we use the most is how to effectively, uh, effectively search for the um, video you're looking for. So we have um, two um, tools for you to use it. First one is timeline. So which means you can, you know, drag playback to back in time or, you know, you can fast forward. See, we have um, one camera here. And if I fast forward 64 times, you guys see the times here. So it will switch over. You can watch it faster um, every moment that changes to find exactly what moment did that thing happen. But moreover, if you want to search the footage by the event, we also have smart search. You can uh, instantly do in here that click the smart search here. We'll jump into the smart search. And then here you can choose which NAS, which cameras. I'm going to do this theater camera here. And when you guys see this timeline here, the gray thing means continuous recording. And when it shows light blue, means there's a motion detection here. So what it does is you can uh, pre-select a area. So let's do, um, okay, let's edit some area here. So I'm going to do this whole area here, okay? And then I'm going to choose what kind of uh, detection I want to do. There's motion detection, missing object, uh, foreign object, camera, or cushion, and then focus loss, no idle zone. So depending on what you want to look for, um, you can set up that uh, different uh, event to trigger that. So what we're going to do is motion detection here. And then I want to be high sensitivity because I want to catch everything that happened. So now we see a little play here. And then we're going to hit run. So it will run through the whole recording. And then you instantly see something happen on the right hand side here. So when you uh, double click that, and then you can download that right and then you can send to the person that you need to so when you download that video click it will download to your desktop and um, if you want to you can lock this so means there's something happened there nobody else other than the admin will be able to delete that recording yeah so um, this is the feature I'm showing today and now uh, we already see all the, you know, important fun features. We're going to go back to, um, to the uh, presentation to see multi-site deployment. Hold on. Sorry, give me one second.
So um, with all the deployments, there are going to be some challenges that need to be overcome to make sure it's successful. And we're here to help, right? So um, we need to um, overlook the whole environment and your requirement. So we need to make sure um, we have system that has ability to manage multiple size deployment in remote location as numbers of cameras, you will likely need multiple units and ensuring this unit has minimum downtime in case of a ferro in crucial as well. So um, with small camera accounts, you will also need considerable performance out of the unit, both in general computing power and bandwidth. With all this, as your storage needs grow, you need the ability to expand your storage. And you know, a lot of um, pre-made pre uh, package in the retail store, so um, they usually only have one hard drive. So when that hard drive fell, means, you know, um, what's the point to set up this whole uh, security uh, system? And also when you grow the business, you grow the uh, re recording storage, then um, there's no room to grow on that uh, pre-made package. So without system, you have that capability. So we're able to overcome all these challenges by using the central management system applications. So we actually, I actually show a little bit uh, in the demo earlier. So this is designed specially for a multi-site surveillance deployment. It has ability to set one Synology NAS as a host, so which will control multiple recording server in multi-site um, and can be uh, robust up to 5,000 cameras and 300 servers or, um, you know, from couple cameras in one uh, solutions up to, you know, uh, 300 servers. You are able to organize the cameras into groups as you have full live view and playback capabilities on the host server. So CMS supports Synology's uh, own protocol and HTTP HTTPS. So you know the string between the sites and units are secure. So um, let's take a little deeper look on how it actually works, right? So when you utilizing our CMS, um, it has the ability to designate one or more failover server. Now you can see this server on the left hand side um, has, is fail, it's broken. And then, um, so the host will redirect all the stream on this uh, broken server to the failover server. And when this server is uh, fixed, and you will be able to uh, redirect all the stream back to that server. And our surveillance station can also configure to set uh, specular and admin permissions in order to delegate surveillance tasks within your organization. So you can set up the owner, the store manager can manage, operate and download and you know delete anything in the surveillance station. But step specular, which is the, you know, maybe the security guard or uh, the front desk or people who help you uh, monitor this video footage, they can only view the authorized objects and but they cannot download or delete any recording. So now it's also, you know, almost 2021, right? So there's some of the exciting features that comes in with our new model DVA uh, 2021, which is the rec uh, recently popular uh, with the AI technologies. So um, first is the people counting. So you will be able to calculate, play this video here. So you will be able to provide accurate people flow information for your marketing, right? And to optimize your business process. For example, based on the people flow report, 
the shop owner can allocate more manpower during rush hours, or you can know if this marketing campaign is bringing more visitors. And right now, um, as you know, we're still in COVID-19, so there's maybe new government regulation on how much space capacity you are allowed to have in your store. So you don't need to hire a person standing in front of the door, manually calculate how many people you have. And um, the next one will be um, the intrusion detection. So this will allow you to receive allowance when you um, know that someone walks through a predefined line or climbs through a window. You can set up on the fence or wall to detect intrusion along with a uh, perimeter here. And um, you can also uh, set up no idle zone. So you can monitor a predefined for things that should not be, oh, sorry, should not be there, such as a car in no parking area or someone parking in front of the entrance uh, or a loading zone for longer than given period of time. So you can set this up in the real world crossing or the entrance of the parking lot or special VIP parking space. And the last thing is the facial recognition. So for example, um, if you do not have a receptionist, you can import um, employee information into the face database. When non-employee enter the office, the system can automatically issue a notification. You can also create a watch list and set alarms once blacklist people are, you know, showing up in, in your office or in your shop. And if you work in the retail, right, you can also detect whenever or not people are wearing a mask and send a long notification to your uh, staff um, so they can take action uh, immediately. And you can register profile of VIPs, including, you know, put a little note there, um, their full name there, their preferences to inform the salespeople when they arrive. And you can also set up a um, shot lifters list. So you can be registered them in the blacklist as well. So the alarm system can also notify, notify, uh, notify your uh, security uh, staff as well. And um, this brings me to the end of my presentation. And I hope this webinar helps to answer some of the questions you have. And um, I'm going to give him back this presentation uh, to David. Uh, thanks, Cindy. I think, yeah, that was good. We've got a good number of questions. Um, and I was just wondering on that. Th those are really cool features coming in the new, new, new devices. I felt kind of bad for Jack there who wasn't allowed, um, coming into the door, <laughs> kind of wondering what he did. Um, <laughs> but we, anyway, to some serious questions we do have um, coming in here. I'm gonna run through these. And uh, I think some of these are gonna be related to uh, to the partnership that CTSI has with Synology and some will be maybe more specific for, for some of the devices. So we had, um, what does um, the process look like to select and install the right system? Um, that might be for both of you. Yeah, I can, I can start. Uh, with that and let Cindy tag team in. Um, so, like I said earlier, we work closely with Cindy. Uh, we have a, um, uh, an install um, or even trying to do a proposal for somebody. So we'll do a lot of assessment. We'll work with Cindy and, and sometimes we're actually involving some, uh, some engineers, both from our staff and Synology staff, depending upon their, you know, if there's some, some pretty robust requirements. We'll just make sure we have the right eyes and the right uh, minds working on it. And then um, I know that um, once we have a proposal together, um, then um, we work with uh, the Synology team to make sure that we're identifying any of the install and training aspects. And I think a lot of times the different implementations are can be very different depending upon the need. And that's what we love about working with technology because we can customize a fit um, from beginning to end, not only specking the right solution, 
but how we need to deploy it, how we need to train, um, how we need to support it on an ongoing basis. So, Cindy, anything you want to add to that? Mm, no, I think that's about, you know, everything we do, um, like reach out to you guys and you guys will reach out to me and we can discuss what we will need, what we're missing, what's our engineer recommendation and what's your cus customer's concern and your engineers, uh, like how we can do the whole project smoothly. Yeah. Okay. Good. Next one. Um, what about monitoring services in place with alarm systems? Will Synology work with these? Um, so it's all automatic billing. So uh, when you set up the rules on, you know, what event will trigger you to get notification, then it will send to you by uh, if you install push services on your phone or there's text messages. Um, and also email. The email will also including the screenshot on what happened there. And so if you have like a monitoring service that's watching entrances, uh, door entrances, I know you mentioned doors or like mm -hmm. heat, heat sensitive type things. Mm -hmm. You've got monitoring built in with Synology. Does that replace the need for like a call center kind of monitoring? Uh, correct, correct. So it will, um, on the live view, I just show you guys when something happened, there will be a alarm showing up if you have somebody monitor that uh, live view 24-7. Uh, but if you don't, the uh, you know owner uh, or the people who manage the uh, system will receive the notification. Then you will see if you want to take action with it. Uh, you want to call 911 or you want to, you know, um, get some strong guys <laughs> to go on the side, see what's going on there. <laughs> yeah. I, I'll add one thing to that, too, is like she, Cindy was highlighting, it was like a permissions uh, screen you can identify different people's roles and how they interact with them. So, you know, whether you have an internal department that's doing monitoring or you're or doing something with a guide, you know, you, you, this system can help um, provide the right resources, the right people, what they need to do their job. So it's not like you, you're going to completely remove some of those. Like if you're using some external resource to do monitoring, you're just going to provide them with the right suite of tools that they can use and give them the right permissions for what they need to do. Okay. All right. Uh, can I control the rotation of cameras from within the surveillance station? Yeah. Yes, you can. Okay. Uh, how do I know how many cameras I need? Then um, I think Teams team will help the customer, uh, you know, pick up like what area is most um, rush area they need to monitor. Maybe usually. Um, it's like entrance acid and also hallways and driveway or in front of the warehouse and stuff like that. And then we can base yeah, on. I mean, sorry, Cindy, I, I stepped on top of your sentence there. Uh, oh no, it's okay. Yeah. And based on the cameras, right? What kind of, uh, how many degree that camera can cover? Um, you can, we can also compatible with the fisheye cameras, you know, outdoor cameras, um, based on different needs. Yeah. yeah. And, and, uh, one of the things that we do when we do an assessment, we're actually do, we, we do an on-site survey and a lot of times we'll be using, uh, copies of the, um, the customers, um, like if they have a blueprint or, a a room layout or something like that. So when we're going in, we're asking the customer, what is it that you're wanting to accomplish? What is it that you need to be able to monitor? Where, you know, where is the tra where traffic flows and what they're looking to cover? And then we kind of map out the coverage area, which kind of dictates them the type of cameras also um, that they need for that. And so when we're presenting our recommendations to them, they actually get a visual of here's how the coverage map is going to look for you. And this is what it's going to do for you. And that tell, that, that will dictate the number, not only the number of cameras, but the of cameras as well. Okay. 
I'm going to combine two here. Um, does Synology surveillance integrate with my existing Synology storage devices? And how long can you store videos? I think those might be related. So I'll just put those mm -hmm. together. Yeah, they can. So as long as he set up the CMS, so both Synology server um, can join together and from the host, uh, the mold, the, a little, the more powerful unit can be the host, and then you will be oversee, you know, the camera in different server. And uh, what was the second question? The retention policy, right? Um, how how long can you store mm -hmm. videos? Yeah. yeah, so that's you can set up the retention policy based on your company need. Um, you know, a week, two weeks, thirty, sixty days. Some government need to store up to two years. And of course, that will involve with how much storage you will need. Okay. And the last question I've got is, um, how can I protect this footage and the platform from being hacked? Um, so, um, like I said um, during the presentation, with Synology, not just a surveillance server, you can also do multiple layers of backup. We can do snapshot revocation. You can do hyper backup. From there, you will be able to, you know, even if you got hacked, right, um, you will be able to retreat everything. But you can set up uh, encryptions on the folders as well. And I'll just I'll just tag onto that and say that's it's that's a great question, <laughs> wonderful question because that really begins to talk to open up the dialogue more about. Not only, like Cindy was saying, the, the capabilities of the Synology solution that allows you to restore um, to a known state, um, which you want for your business anyways, but also um, it's a good opportunity to look at general security overall. Do you have the right security on your work? Um, are your endpoints in, in your business secure? Um, and so that gives us a chance to maybe even to our customers about what is the security status? What is the strategy that small business needs to be secure? Yeah, and I think that moves us into our next steps. A lot of these questions had to do with, okay, well, how do I know, answer this problem, answer this question or whatever. And um, I think that's that's where we want to go with this, right, is, is helping to solve those problems for your business. So we've got, um, first of all, we want to be able to provide a free consultation for you. So um, that can be done. I followed up with, uh, with everyone individually um, in preparation for this webinar. So you can reach out to me directly or you can go to www.creativetext.biz slash free consult to set up to request a free consultation. We can get that scheduled to take that first step, identifying what kind of cameras you need. What about storage? What about security? Um, how about implementation? All of that can be covered in a consultation there. And we've got some specials going on right now, um, particularly coming into the end of the year. So they're a little time, time sensitive. So be sure that um, if you're interested that you uh, get that consultation scheduled so we can place orders and you can take advantage of these. The first is from Synology, 10% off licensing fees if we place an order by the end of the year here. And on top of that, CTSI is also providing some special holiday installation labor discounts. So, um, yeah, doesn't hurt at all to get your consultation scheduled. Definitely want to encourage you to do that. I'll be following up to, to ask if you're interested in that. But again, if you're watching the video later, go ahead and, and uh, fill that out on the free consult um, page, and then we'll get you moving with your discounts. A couple other things that I do want to mention, um, again, this is holiday season, end of the year. It's not too late to jump on some of our other partner um, uh, discounts that are set up. So you've got your surveillance covered. You can also take care of some AV in your home or your business. Uh, so we've got some great um, partnerships with people like Sonus or Panasonic or you know Sony, some other great ones. And there's some great specials going on through the holiday season um, that you can take advantage of. And similar to our Synology special, CTSI is also offering some discounts on, on labor and installation. So you can uh, let me know again or fill out um, the form at free consult 
to move forward with the, with those. Um, so some great opportunities for you right now. And I want to just remind you to keep an eye out for some upcoming webinars, um, our business, business management conversations, uh, great resources to help your business moving forward. I want you to make sure that you go to our website and fill out the form to receive uh, newsletter updates because that's all full of information like our partnership with Synology. We did a, a feature on some Synology stuff this last month. Um, so if you're signed up, you'll get access to those. Uh, so be sure that you sign up for them as well and follow us on LinkedIn and Facebook so you can see those along the way. Um, all right, uh, we're going to move on to our winner. Um, I've got I've got people's names here on some papers, so we're doing a, a true random drawing. So I'm going to I'm going to put the names in our CTSI mug and uh, do a shake it up here and get make sure that this is nice and fair for everybody. And the winner is so much. All right. Um, I just decided I'm going to reach out to the winner directly so you don't get to know who it is. You have to check your email. <laughs> I'm going to follow up with everybody with an email and um, that you'll have access to, to watch this later if you need to reference it. And if you won, I will let you know and we'll, we'll arrange for a delivery of your camera. And Finally, I just want to thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Cindy. Thank you, Tim, um, and everyone on the call, and anyone watching later for joining us. Um, these are fun, great opportunities to learn about some, some crazy technology to be able to protect your business, help things move forward. If it's not protected, you're not going to have a business moving forward, so you need to make sure that you take those measures uh, to keep things safe. Um, so thank you both. Anything you want to add here? Thank okay. you. No, nope. yeah. Thanks, Cindy, for joining us. This is great. Yeah, definitely. And um, hey, if you're th anywhere throughout northern Indiana, um, you need some help uh, with uh, making some decisions about your technology to support your business objectives, we'd love to be able to talk with you. You can reach us out, uh, reach out to us on our phone number. Um, you can call our office, or you can go to our website at www.creativetext.biz. And uh, we'll look forward to hearing from you there. Um, you can email us at solutions at creativetext.biz. And again, follow us on LinkedIn and Facebook. And if you're ready to go, um, just need to talk with an IT resource that's really a partner to help move your business forward. A great place to start and, and explain that process a little bit is going to www.creativetext.biz slash next step. Um, the URL is at the bottom of this screen here. So thanks again. I uh, will wish you happy holidays and we'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye everybody. Bye. Bye.